Welcome, Catholicos, Catholics, Orthodox, Christians, all who seek the truth. Now we're talking about Sunday obligation, going to Mass, attending the most holy sacrifice of the altar, the sacrifice of the cross. From the beginning of, the, of Christianity, people, Christians, gathered on the first day of the week, which is Sunday, to celebrate and remember the resurrection of Christ, to remember His sacrifice on Good Friday and His resurrection and ascension, and to eat the Lamb of God offered in sacrifice. And... Um, to be filled, because Jesus said, if you don't eat my flesh and drink my blood, you do not have life in you, because he is the way, the truth, and the life. Because he is God, he is divinity, who is life. So bishops are saying, hey, uh, Sunday obligation, uh, we're, 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 we're allowing you to ignore that. Uh, sure, uh, no, don't, no, you're not obliged to attend Sunday Mass anymore. Yeah, these are one of the precepts of the Church, is to attend Mass on Sundays. But do they even have the right? Because that precept is based on the Third Commandment, to keep the Sabbath holy. So do bishops have the authority to override the commandment of God? No, they don't. The precept is based on the commandment. It's a fulfillment and obedience to the third commandment. So the bishops do not have that authority. Let's read the third commandment. Remember that thou keep holy the Sabbath day. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy works. But on the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Thou shalt do no work on it, neither thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy beast, nor, thy, nor, nor the stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, and the sea, and all things that are in them, and rested on the seventh day. Wherefore, the Lord blessed the seventh day and sanctified it. So you have to remember to keep the Sabbath day holy, which for us is Sunday is the day of rest, Sabbath, meaning the rest. Now, the Catechism of the Council of Trent gives us reasons for this commandment. This command, and actually you will notice in a second that the new Catechism of the Catholic Church under Pope John Paul II uh, basically echoes the Catechism of the Council of Trent because it's the faith. Reasons for this commandment. This commandment of the law rightly and in due order prescribes the external worship. External worship. Not internal in my house, you know, which we owe to God. It is, as it were, the consequence of the preceding command. For it is, for if we sincerely and devoutly worship God, we cannot but honor Him with external worship and thanksgiving. And what happens if we neglect this commandment? Neglect of this commandment, a great crime. So bishops cannot say, well, neglect the commandment. It's a great crime. But those who altogether neglect its fulfillment resist God and his church. They heed not God's command and are enemies of him and his holy laws. To refuse obedience to this commandment to keep the Sabbath day holy, meaning to go and worship God and dedicate the whole day to God, is therefore a proof of extreme boldness and the punishment with which its infraction has been visited by God. As we learn, it should be a warning to us. And we should not be offending God in this way. And now, this is from the Catechism of the, uh, of the Catholic Church of, under Pope John Paul II. Section 2176, 2176. The celebration of Sunday observance, of the celebration of Sunday observes the moral commandment. It's a moral commandment inscribed by nature in the heart, human heart to render to God an outward, visible, public, and regular worship. That is from the Catechism of the Catholic Church of John Paul II, section 2177. 
the Sunday celebration of the Lord's Day and His Eucharist is the heart of the church's life. Sunday is the day in which the Paschal Mystery is celebrated in light of apostolic tradition and is to be observed as the foremost holy day of obligation in the Universal Church. That's the New Catechism. Section, still New Catechism, 2178. So it gives the, uh, le- uh, an example from the letter of the Hebrews. Not to neglect to meet together on the first day of the week, on Sunday. It comes from the Apostolic Age. And it quotes, Tradition preserves the memory of an ever-timely exhortation. Come to church early, approach the Lord, and confess your sins. Repent in prayer, be present at the sacred and divine liturgy. And then still in the New Catechism of John Paul II, the Catechism of the Catholic Church says, you can not pray at home as a church. You cannot pray at home as a church. You cannot pray at home as at church. Impossible. Still in the New Catechism, section 2180, the Sunday obligation. The precept of the church specifies the law, the law of the Lord. It's not, a, it's, a, it's not a church law. Well, I can dispense with it. Oh, I dispense with your obligation to worship God on Sunday. Oh, sit, watch him on TV. Say a little prayer here and there. No. The precept of the church specifies the law of the Lord. That is what it is. It's only actually specifying the law of God more precisely. On Sundays and other holy days of obligation, the faithful are bound to participate in the Mass. It is only specifying the law of God. So now we see, with almost three hours of talking here, that we are living in a deception, a delusion. Yes, I will live free. I will not... um, Uh, succumb to pressure to conform to be a sheep among sheep to be a parrot among parrots no we have to be human we have to use our minds we have to wake up and follow the truth so again as I say to the successors of the apostles the patriarchs, the archbishops, bishops, priests, clergy, and of course all the people of God and the whole world, every human being, sons and daughters of Adam and Eve, the human family, let us be free. And I tell the bishops again, successors of the apostles, slay the dragon of deception with the sword of the Spirit. Be shepherds, not hirelings. That's it. That's all. I hope you like this video. Please like, share, subscribe. Press the alert, the uh, notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.